Gavin Williamson, uh, the new Defence Secretary. Mm. Now, I feel that there was a little bit of criticism of him when he came in to his job, but he seems to have won a victory, a reprieve over cuts to the defence. Is this a victory? Let's see. Right? I, I always feel there's a little manoeuvre here. They're talking about no real spending implications. I, I just There's been a lot of spin by uh, Gavin Williamson, a bit wet behind the ears, a bit of the private pike he's being called at the def uh, defence uh, department. Let's wait and see. I think it just seems a bit premature, this. He's having his victory well. lap. But we know he got huge criticism from the head of the army earlier in the week. I'd have never thought the Conservative, the Conservative government, which likes to be tough on defence, would reduce well, the army to its smaller it, size it, since Napoleonic Wars. Is it a coincidence wars, that this comes years in the ago. wake of the criticism yeah. no, no, of the head of the army? The head of the army speech this week, mm. which was very critical of cuts, yeah. was approved by the Defence Secretary, Gavin Williamson. He this is a two-pronged attack. He yeah. wanted the, the Army General to go and make mm. his case for him to say to the Treasury, don't cut my money. He's only been doing mm. the job recently. Yeah. It was hugely significant that uh, General Carter made that speech with the backing of the Defence Secretary. So they're both at the Chancellor. Does I doesn't think mean he's winning the case. There's money to come uh, to them, though, does no, it? That's no, the not yet. But, it, but um, I think. Let's wait a month and see will, how this He will argue out. in the court of public opinion <laughs> he's winning the case. Mm. And let me tell you about the yeah. Defence Secretary. Mm. Very ambitious. Yeah. Got it's got his up for sights on a much higher job than Defence Secretary. I thought Secretary. he was an ally of uh, Theresa May, and that's why he'd been brought yes, in. You'd say he that is, he's but, after but, her job. Yes. <laughs> but, you know, you, you, you can actually both be ambitious yeah. and an ally, in yeah. fairness. Uh, yeah. I, I'm not Gavin Williamson's biggest fan, but, but as long as you're not trying to oust her next week... No, he's not. ...and you think down the line you'll replace her, as long as you support her now, that's fine. And actually, as Boris Johnson may well learn, it's often the loyal who are rewarded, not the disloyal. Right.